Yo, Kalez, in this video, we're going to talk about why Barcelona should sign Paulo Dybala. Nah, I'm capping. I'm lying, guys. This is a video about why we shouldn't sign Paulo Dybala. But before I get into why we shouldn't sign him, let me know in the comments below, would you like Barcelona to sign Paulo Dybala? Like, what are your thoughts and opinion? Maybe I have a bad take. Who knows? As we all know, Dybala has been an Argentine prodigy. He was compared to Messi because how intelligent he was with the ball. Not gonna lie, I like Dybala, but I don't think he will work at Barca. Even at 30, he has a lot to give. But the thing is, Dybala's best position is the number 10 or a second striker, which we all know doesn't exist at Barca. Barca don't play with a number 10 or two strikers. And Dybala cannot flourish as a lone striker. And so he'll be forced to play on the right wing, cut it inside. But his 1v1 ability is not that great. I can already see it, guys. Yamal will bench this guy in the right wing. Dybala is giving Coutinho. I swear, I'm I'm traumatized. Similar to like Felix. Like, I feel like the type of wingers like Barcelona need right now is the one that are great with the 1v1 situation. Dybala beats one man per game. That's not good enough. His strength and abilities come from striking and turning. Like, he's great at turning on the player. And that's how he basically beats at least one man per game. But I do like players like Dybala though, because I love intelligent players. I'll take an intelligent player over someone that's just running like a headless chicken. If we're really going to sign this guy, we're going to have to build a team around him. That's the only way I see Dybala can flourish in a Barca shirt. Or else he's like hella consistent and for sure, but... I'd rather avoid a, a signing like this. So let me know, is that a win take or a bad take? Don't forget to comment below, guys, and like this video. Risk up, Barcelona.